Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to the Call of Duty World War 2. Because it hurts, guys. We're heading into war. Operation Neptune. Normandy. D-Day. The beaches. Come on. Come on. Um... Let's discuss how I'm using the M1 Garand, and the description for the gun quite literally said, Semi-automatic marksman rifle delivers high damage that can take out enemies in two shots. The M1 Garand. Standard issue, right? <laughs> I haven't been able to kill someone with two bullets. Period. Alright, so this is the PC version that was produced by Raven Software, um, developed by Sledgehammer Games, and published by Activision. I believe Activision still has their hand on this fucking thing. All I know is Raven Software was in charge of the PC port, and there's a lot. There's a lot wrong. You you finish matches if you even get to finish a match, and you immediately get kicked out to the very very main menu. Yeah, the splash menu. Exactly. That's the one I'm looking for. That's the one I'm looking for. Thank you. Um, and it what what really what really bothers me about that is half the time I'm playing War, for instance, this game mode. Uh, half the time. Uh, it it cancels out the game halfway through, so like you get to halftime, end of the first half, like you won or you've lost, doesn't really matter that often. Ah, oh, there's more than one. There's always more than one. It'll kick you out halfway through the game, whether you won or won or, won or lost, does not matter. And it, then it just starts searching a brand new game before giving you any chance or time after kicking you out of the game to adjust classes or check your 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 scoreboard or anything like that. Like you you are not given any of that. Um, freedom. What kills me about that is, A, I'm really bad at the game, so it doesn't help my case, but what kills me is there's little to no communication. Not to mention the fact that the servers have been so buggy as of late, so very buggy, that everyone in the server, no matter where they're connecting from, or who they are, or what their provider is, has trouble. The has trouble with their connection. Has trouble with lag, intense lag, intense. And it got so bad to a point where, like, my The multiplayer is it's rough. It's very, very rough. That's that's pretty much where the majority of my issues stem. Uh, basically, all of my issues for the game stem here in the multiplayer. Uh, thankfully, zombies is typical. Not a whole lot to report about zombies, other than you know, hey, it's a, it's a game mode. Zombies, whims of zombies that increase in difficulty and health and damaging. Zombies with incredibly well designed. It's super pretty. Zombies with the single player is beautiful. It is perfect in almost every single way. A couple of checkpoints are a little, little difficult to stomach. Um, for anyone interested in getting this game, I would I'd honestly say it's pretty much worth it for single player alone. Like just play the single player, and then return the game. I will have a much. I think I'm gonna put together another video with more detailed bugs. Okay, there we go. Disconnected from server. Almost every game. And that just, it, it ruins matches. Wonderful. It happens in Team Deathmatch, and Domination, and Hardpoint, and Capture the Flag, and Search and Destroy, and War, and Gridiron. It doesn't... Ugh, this game mode should be destroyed. Raven Software, fix your game. That is my final statement. 
I, I don't really have much else to say other than, hey, if you'd like to like the video, I would like you to like the video. It would be really awesome if you could like the video to likes, gets the likes up and gets the video more interested to be watched on the main video feed of YouTube. My words aren't coming out properly. Anyway, thank you very much, guys. Hope you have a great day. Enjoy. I am Anonymous. Have an awesome day, dudes. Peace out.